Good morning guys, it is Monday morning. I wanted to show you guys what a normal Monday morning looked like for us as full-time eBay sellers and as people who are trying to create content. So let's get into it and show you the craziness. Here you can clearly see this whole place looks insane, but that's okay because it's intentional. Now, it's intentional because we are doing multiple things at once. We're trying to ship packages here, but we're also trying to document our lives as much as possible. Now, to some people that may sound stupid, but to those that actually know how the internet works, content is king and the more content you create, hopefully more people pick up and then eventually give you money for services or your products. So that's kind of how our Monday morning always starts is by getting things ready for shipping, but then also setting up like our studio stuff and like planning out what we're actually gonna do for the day. And then you hear someone in the background who's making an awful ruckus. His name is Oliver. We have a teething baby. He is teething super hard. Mm -hmm. So you guys are gonna be hearing him a lot in our videos for the next few weeks, unfortunately he for you. He comes with the package. Yeah, but <laughs> the, the best part is there is a paid course launching in a few weeks that won't have him included. So if you guys wanna learn without a baby, that will be the one way you can learn. Mm -hmm. That's also a little sales pitch for our course launching in a few weeks. So stay tuned for that, it's pretty cool. But yeah, this is how every single Monday starts. Now. I have a tote set up here for packages ready to go out. These are all of our shipping labels. Now, I didn't actually create these, nor did Cheyenne, nor did little Oliver. Loretto created these. Loretto is our $5 an hour virtual assistant in the Philippines. If you don't know anything about him, we have a blog post below. You can read that whole story, it's pretty cool. But he does stuff like that for us. He does the spreadsheet and just helps us out with random tasks for our business. So it streamlines our life so much more. <sighs> That's actually why we have so much time to create content for you guys and why we have time to document our lives and do stupid stuff is because we do pay him five bucks an hour and it has changed our life. So, as you can see here, I have some bags set up, ready to go out, and then I have more waiting here. My laptop is here with all of our sales information and then again, the pile of stuff that's sold is all right here. Now, if you wanna see what's sold, we started our podcast, first episode goes deep into what's sold here, so make sure you watch that video. Uh, we cover all that, but there is some really cool stuff in here. It's like $800 in sales over two days, which not too bad. But yeah, this is how every single Monday morning starts. So let's just get into shipping this stuff and then we'll go on with our day. There's nothing really that exciting going on right now. All I'm doing is taking items from this pile. I'm taking them here, I'm folding them up, and then grabbing a uh, bag, either a poly mailer or a uh, flat rate mailer. I'm putting the item in the bag, and then just matching up the label to the person on the computer. That's all I'm doing. It's not rocket science, so that's why we're not really gonna talk about it. I had to get out of the house for a second and go thrifting. We are gonna go to a major thrift store chain here in Colorado. It's not the Goodwill, it's called the Ark. Um, I don't really expect to hit a gold mine or anything today, but you never know with thrifting, so that's why we're going right now. Um, it's kind of a moody day. Can't really see it out there, but it looks like it's gonna snow. There's some misting going on, so maybe we'll get a little bit of a, a little snowstorm, so that'll be kind of fun and chill for today. But yeah, let's get going, let's get to the thrift store, and uh, hopefully we find some stuff and we make a million bucks at this haul, so let's do it. We are here, it is nine in the morning. I am telling you that because it is important, guys. It is important when you go to thrift stores, how often you go to thrift stores, um, what thrift stores you go to on what days. So like earlier in this video, I told you I don't expect to like hit home right now because it is Monday morning and Saturdays and Sundays, they do have pretty decent sales here. So usually Monday isn't that great, but sometimes you can get in early enough when the fresh z racks are out and just grab some good stuff. But knowing your local thrift stores will make you the most amount of money. It doesn't matter what days we go thrifting. It, it doesn't matter. You need to learn your own market. Wow, it is cold. Holy crap, it is cold out here. Wow, um, you need to learn your own market and you need to quit your job as soon as possible so you can get to the thrift store on Monday mornings right when they open. It's a big perk to not having a job, guys, and it's changed my life, so. Yeah, make sure here. you grab a cart when you first go into a thrift store. Number one pro tip, okay. I love to start in jackets now, it gets cold, it's where we find the most amount of money, but then I move on to electronics. 
All this stuff here is pretty much junk. This store just doesn't have that great of stuff, but I do look around at random things just because I have found just random electronics hiding around in this place. But it is very busy here and they have a lot of stuff right now. But yeah, here I am just looking at the pile of tested stuff and just sometimes you get lucky in that pile. Video games, I kind of skip over because it's all just junk here. And again, just more household junk, unfortunately. Now, the ski boots are somewhere where you can make a lot of money, but they have to be newer models. The older ones don't sell well whatsoever, so try to avoid those. And thrift stores have recently been mixing on a lot of like mountain bike shoes and stuff like that in this section like these. So just be aware of that. Just take a closer look at things here. They might be worth money. And backpacks, nothing here. But again, look for hiking bags, look for like nice leather bags, anything of value. But again, there was nothing in this pile. Moving on, these Echo shoes, they were actually nice shoes, but they wanted too much money for them. I think I wanted like 13 or 14 bucks for these, but Echo Biome golf shoes are pretty awesome. So pick those up if you can not and find them for a lot cheaper than 13 bucks. Shoes again in this store aren't that great, but I'm looking at winter boots, anything thicker and heavier right now, I do intend on picking up. But again, everything was overpriced here, even these Cabela little water shoes. And these Brooks running shoes, they were again overpriced and they were in bad condition. Always check the go back rack guys, there's always good stuff on there. You never know what people put back. Here I am just folding everything, checking it over and getting the heck out of here. Again, putting stuff on the put back rack. And then this is going to be my little haul here. Nothing crazy. That is everything. It wasn't a crazy, crazy haul, but it was good enough. It was definitely worth it. Wow, it is snowing and it is cold. It's so cold. Wow. We are going to start heading home here now, I think. Um, so I ended up spending what, 40, what time is it right now? We got in there at like 9.20 or something and it's 10.20 right now, 10.16. I spent about an hour, but I did film some stuff in there for you guys. So it did take a little bit longer and I chilled, but yeah, not too bad. We're gonna cover everything that we found here in a second when we get home, but let's do that first. All right, we are home safe and sound. It is so freaking snowy. Let me, let me just show you guys this nonsense real quick. Look, it is so unbelievably snowy. You know, let's just go out. Why did I look through the window? We could've just went outside. Kind of romantic that is. I didn't even know it was gonna snow today, but yeah, here we are. We should probably look at the, uh, the weather app, the doohickey more often, you know? But needless to say, I'm home, I'm safe and sound, and now we're gonna talk about what we found. Okay, first things first, Google Home Mini. Guys, these things are not valuable whatsoever. Do not waste your time buying these. <laughs> I don't know why it's even in the thrift haul. I paid $5.99 for it. You can get about 15 to 20 bucks for it locally if you're lucky, but trying to sell these things online is a complete waste of your time. So if you find one, maybe for yourself, keep it, but then if you could sell it locally for a few bucks, why not grab it? This one was in great condition. I figured maybe we can use it as like a little stereo. Just... Moving on to something maybe not as worthless, but awesome because we paid $1.99 for it. This is a Toyota 4Runner radio, just the stock one. I have no idea if this thing works, but it does not matter. I'm gonna sell it as is for parts and someone will buy it for around 70 bucks, which is pretty awesome. Some of these things can go for a lot more money, especially if they have like a screen display on it. They can go for hundreds of dollars. But again, since this is a basic one and it's not tested, I will not get as much money for it. Okay, moving on. Basic Nike t-shirt. It's not vintage. It's just a modern one. I picked this up because it's in uh, perfect condition. It looks brand new and it's a dry fit. So it's a little bit more interesting. I did pay $3.99 for it, but again, it's in great shape. I was already there and we'll get like 14 to 15 bucks for it pretty quickly. So not a bad little flip there. This Giro, so brand Giro, but this is actually by the brand Giadora. Okay, so that's a really popular cycling brand that you'll find. We paid $4.99 for this singlet. And all this is, is just like one of those padded road bike short thingies with straps on it. These things sell really, really well. You can get up to like 60 to 70 bucks for some of them. This one will get around 25 to 30 bucks because of the brand and the condition of it. 
This is something I've never ever heard a reseller talk about. Salt Valley Western. I learned about this brand in Utah. They just make Western shirts, a lot of pearl snaps. It's a nicer company. These shirts all day go for around $30 to $60, depending on the style. This one, the comps were going for $30 to $35. Bucks. Last time we had this shirt, it did sell for around $40 as well. So great little company to look out for. Again, with the Pearl Snap theme, this time something you guys will know, it's Wrangler. But guys, people love denim and chambray and they love Pearl Snap. So when it's those two things together, it's a double win. This thing will get around 25 to 28 bucks for because the condition, um, again, condition is key. Just don't get beat up ones. Vintage ones with cool fades on it, that's fine, but just don't get just nasty ones. American Eagle, no, sorry, Air Apostle, cargo shorts, or cargo pants, what am I saying? This military-ish style with the heavy cargo pockets here is really, really popular, guys, especially now since the world is ending. More and more women are gonna be buying cargo pants to store all their emotions in these things, so be on the lookout for them. Uh, these things aren't a huge winner. We paid $4.99 for them, and we'll probably get around 25 bucks for these things. But yeah, just be on the lookout for this certain style. Air Apostle, American Eagle, and all that stuff isn't that great, but when it comes to certain styles, they are awesome, okay? Ah, moving on, let's see. So these, if you've never heard of EMS, it's Eastern Mountain Sports. It's a store like REI, kind of like that. They sell a bunch of different outdoors related stuff. These are a pair of Gore-Tex shell pants from them. Uh, great condition, again, there's no holes on them. These are just like a basic snow shell type of pant. I think we'll get around 35 to 40 bucks for these in the condition and the fact that, again, they're Gore-Tex, which is great. And we paid uh, $6 for those, by the way. This is a cute little uh, vintage Land's End reindeer sweater. Uh, a woman's XL, which again is a good size, it's a larger size. We paid $7.99 for this, but I loved it because it does have the cute little reindeers on it. It's Christmas, it's got the knit, and it's in great shape, plus the size, which I think we'll get around 35 bucks for this, uh, maybe 40 bucks. It's a nice little sweater. Now, if you follow us, if you saw our What's Sold podcast, then you've already heard Robert Graham before. Robert Graham shirts, the funkier the better. You really want to flip the cups Honey. off, or Honey. open here, and just see what? He was pulling the shirt <laughs> off the table. All right, he's helping us. <laughs> so you can flip the cups off. They usually have some crazy pattern. This guy's had some crazy cologne, wow. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the funkier the better with these. Again, condition is key. We did pay $7.99 for this, but I expect to get around $35 bucks for this shirt just because it is so funky. Hi, buddy. Can we see this real quick? We're almost done. So we're going to wrap up here because Oliver is teething. He's going through a pretty hard time right now. But there's two more things I just want to show you guys real quick. Live strong. Um, Lift strong stuff sells well, especially psyching stuff still. You can definitely get some money for it. When it comes to this, you want to make sure it's still Nike branded. And, excuse me, they made like, you can find like generic stuff of this. It's not going to be worth your time. When it's real Nike branded, like cycling gear with Lift Strong on it, it definitely is worth your time. Now, this jersey is even cooler because it's made in Italy. So just be on the lookout for little details like that because they really do matter. And whatever your personal opinion on Lance Armstrong is, and you should actually like read into the story. It's actually pretty crazy. If you don't know the Lance Armstrong story, you, you should read about it. And it's really sad, like what happened to Livestrong afterwards. And just the, the whole story is kind of crazy. But all that to say, his stuff still has somewhat of a following in the cycling community, and you can still make a few bucks on it. Now, you're not going to make a million bucks on it. People don't love Lance Armstrong that much, but it is still some sort of cash. Now, Last thing is this Giro cycling jersey, okay? Brand Giro, again, just like those, um, the shorts that we showed you uh, in the start of this, but this time they're by the brand Verge, okay? So Verge is another cycling brand manufacturer, and this time we paid $4.99 for this jersey. Again, it's in great shape. You wanna avoid these when they have heavy pilling on the back, and you definitely, definitely wanna grab these when they have big company logos on these things whether it's actually like the company Giro or whether it's like a company like Rolex or like Volkswagen or Trek or anything like that. The bigger, the better, the louder, the crazier, the funkier, the more money you will get for them, guys. So yeah, that was the haul. Cheyenne and Oliver have left me because Oliver is upstairs 
doing his baby stuff, which include crying. So I am gonna go be a father right now and help him out. But if you guys wanna be stay at home parents too, like us, check out our free course at resellingjunkie.com. That'll help kind of get your uh, reselling mission in life started. <sighs> you guys should follow us on Instagram, resellingjunkie underscore. There's more behind the scenes and kind of like our life stuff there. And then if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. It really, really, really helps our small, tiny channel grow. And we would love you guys forever. So until next time, my name's Sebastian. This is Resell Junkie. Cheers.